Fallout 4, we're right here, Outpost Zamunja. Well, <clears throat> sorry about that, Outpost Zamunja, right there, top of the map, just outside Templines Bluff. When you first get here, you have the raid, as it is a radio beacon, although it's not that much taller than the settlement, to be honest, with them uh, power station windmill things on the top. We've kept all this up vanilla all the way it was with the little um, the thing here apart from put a mat up there for a guard and then we've got the clinic here this is just a little outpost not really meant for people to stay here all the time um, they will come in here on rotation probably maybe from the castle who knows or maybe they go back and see the families and another group of settlers come in and they have to uh, stay here for a couple of weeks as well just do a couple of weeks on a couple of weeks off a little uh, scavenging workstation over there all work 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 while you are here got the uh, cooking station there little area for sitting out on a night time a few bits and pieces the barmaid hasn't climbed cleaned up yet Can't remember the last time. and then we've got the um, storage over here the original workbench there a little guard looking out the chain link over there and then over here we have the uh, the bar area. Got a few barrels and <coughs> bits and pieces out the back. Sorry about that, guys. Little pieces out the back that um, obviously where the beer has been sold or whatever. We've got a little bit of uh, cooking area here. Rolling pins out, chopping boards, things like that. Um, and a couple of the beds. The beds are kind of thrown in wherever they can. The bar woman and the uh, chem uh, chemist or doctor will live in here they do have the power armor and things inside the locker and a little bit of the storage there because obviously when it comes down to it if they have to fight they have to fight they'll have just been assigned to them things for while they're here unless there's any trouble and then up here a little seating area again to go on the bar usually that radio's turned on this guy here with his plasma rifle jump over him because he's not going to move We've got a little uh, radio area in here, contacting the other settlements. Also connected to the radio beacon tower there as well. Now the guards stood there. We've got that spark there, I'm not sure how to get rid of it. I don't know where it came from. It wasn't here yesterday um, when I did come round to prep the settlement. But again, not much drink decoration up here. Everything's already bo all boxed up, tied away. They don't stay here very long and then they move on so all the storage and stations are here ready set up um, and they just come over and use them as they need them another little radio there again we're up into the living quarters now close quarters they come here just to bunk this is just a place to crash while they're based at the settlement so most of the storage is under the bed they've brought suitcases and bags and duffel bags and different things with them got the flags up everywhere reminding them who they're working for the Minutemen and then up here, got guard stations on this side, and a few bits and pieces they might need in the storage, different things like that. Guard stood over there, a couple of guns lying about, a couple of good view access points, and here is the general's um, quarters for this settlement. I have them in most of my settlements, I like to have a little area for me. Um, and it's got to be the best for the general, of course. So we've got the uh, kitchen there, fridge there, seating area desk area for if I need to do any paperwork or anything like that nice view as well out the window spend most of my time staring out there rather than getting any work done anyway and then with a little living area there sit down relax play a few gate holotape games I suppose so that's it that's the whole settlement nice and compact nice and small an outpost just to look over make sure that the this side of the Commonwealth is um, is safe we haven't got any intruders Working the way, working their way in. Got the farm, obviously, on this side as well. We'll have a little walk around the outside. It's all got chain link fences, everything from chain link fences um, right the way around, different bits and pieces, and then obviously the backs of the buildings. It's not the strongest, most fortified little camp out of uh, there is, but it's full of Minutemen guards. So really, there's not one wanting to really attack this anyway. They do have all the weaponry to uh, to hold them back. Now, I am going to do a nighttime tour. If you're not sticking around that, thank you for watching. If you are, it'll follow up next. Thank you. Bye. -bye. And here we are for the nighttime tour. <clears throat> 
coming up here. It's all quite well lit up, really. I want people to know that they are stepping into the Minutemen uh, territory. We've got guards everywhere, people down here in the bar. I'm not going to really talk all the way through this one. Obviously, I've just given you the tour. You do know what everything is now. So I'm just going to be quiet and let you uh, let you watch what it come out like looking on the night time. Again, guys, thank you for watching. There's a spark. Yes. Bob's coming in pretty good. Ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Need to get back to Diamond City. Biggest town. And that's it guys, that's the whole place. So I'm glad you've enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe and that bell notification. That we grow the channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day or night, whatever it is to you. Bye bye.